Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hospital Management System project tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial, we let the user make an appointment. Now in this tutorial, I am going to make a my appointment option over here and only and this option will be only available to the logged in user. So if a user is logged in only they will see the my appointment option over here. So let's go back to our code and we will directly go to our resource then views and inside views we have users and inside users we have home.plate.php and if we go down uh, you can see over here uh, we give a if condition if there is any auth then we will count this on now now this line is responsible for uh, to show us the logout option for user and if there is no auth it means there is no user is logged in then it will show us login and register so what we are going to do is that we are going to add a li over here so let me just copy this li control c and i will paste it over here control v so here you can see contact so instead of contact we are going to say my appointment appointment so if we save it now and if we refresh you, you won't see any my appointment option over here because currently we are not logged in and it will show us uh, this my appointment text only when there is a login so let's login first let's click login we'll go to user then password login and here you can see currently we are logged in and we have a my appointment text over here and the logout option so let's just change its design a little bit so for it let's go back to our code and here uh, inside this anchor tag we are going to add a style let's say style let's say background color uh, let's say it will be green yellow so if you save it and if you refresh here you can see its background color is changed now let's uh, make this uh, text color white i think that will look better so let me just see our hair color uh, equal to white Control s now let's refresh okay i think it looks better right now now what we are going to do is that if someone click this my appointment option then it will take the user to another page where they can see their appointments so for it let's go back to our code again and here you can see inside the href we are going to mention a url and we are going to say uh, to second bracket and we will say url now here in this url uh, we are going to say my appointment a double p o i n t m e n t appointment so let's save it control s now we'll go to our web.php and create this url so let's go to route then web.php and here i'm just going to copy this route control c and it will be a get request so it's we'll a get and uh, let me just copy this url control c and i'll paste it over here control v and let's say our class name it will be the same thing my appointments so let's save it control s now we'll go to our home controller and create this uh, function so let's go to our app then http then controllers then home controller and we'll directly go down and here and here we are just going to say public function then uh, my appointment then to first bracket to second bracket and from here we are just going to return a view return view uh, we are going to say user dot uh, let's say my underscore appointment a double p so uh, we do not have this my appointment dot blade dot php so we are going to create this uh, blade file inside our user folder so let's go to our user folder then right click on it then new file and here we are going to say my underscore appointment dot plate dot php so let's save it control s then save and here we are just going to say something uh, simple let's just say html and inside body we are going to say h on and let's say show appointment let's save it control s now let's refresh and now if we click my appointment here you can see it is showing us this show appointment so here we need to add a navbar just like our home page uh, if you go to our home page you can see a uh, navbar over here so we are going to add this to our uh, my appointment page so for it uh, let's go back to our code and we'll go to home.blade.php and we are going to copy the code for the navbar so let me just copy first everything from here control a control c 
and I will paste it inside my my appointment.blade.php so control V over here and let me just remove the unnecessary thing we will only keep the navbar and we are going to remove everything else so let's remove it after the end of this header part here you can see login registration so let me just remove it from here to okay we will only keep the script part so let's remove it so let's save it control s now if we refresh here you can see the uh, navbar part over here now here we are just going to create a table to show the appointment that the user make uh, so for it we are first going to create a table over here so we are just going to say here let's just uh, have our table inside a div so inside this div we will say table and a table has a uh, header part and, and the data part so first of all we are going to say tr and inside this tr we are going to say th th means table header so let me just copy this th control c and i am going to paste it three times so control v two three so uh, inside this uh, let me just show you our table and inside the table header we will have the doctor name then date then the message and the status so uh, over here we are going to say doctor name and here we are going to say date after date we will have the message and the last one will be status so uh, let's save it and now let's create another tr and we'll have some td table data so we'll have four td since we have four table header control c three four so let's save it and if we refresh now over here you can see that table uh, like this now we need to change its design so for it let's go back to our code again now here you can see that uh, we have our table inside this div so we are going to say over here uh, let's say align we want the table to be center let's say center and let's also add a style let's say it will be padding uh, let's say padding will be 70 px and if we save it now and if we refresh our here you can see it's now in the middle now let's add some more uh, design over here as well now inside this tr let's add a style let's say background color it will be black and uh, let's also add some style for the table header as well so let me just uh, select everywhere every th and we'll say over here style and inside this style we'll say padding it will be 10 px and after padding let's say we will also have font size font size it will be let's say 20 px and uh, let's also add a color for them uh, text color let's say text color it will be white so if you save it so if you save it control s and if we refresh here you can see it looks like this and it looks better way better than before so now let's go back to our uh, home controller dot blade dot php and from here we are going to send the specific appointment that is made by this specific user but before that let me just fix something uh, if we just log out from here click log out if we just say in the url if we just say slash my appointment and if we press enter it is still taking us to this page wh when the user is not logged in so this isn't correct so uh, we'll only show this page uh, when the user is logged in so for it we'll just say in this my appointment function we are just going to give a if condition if auth id if auth id exists only then show this view control x and control v and if there is no auth id then uh, we'll go to else condition where we'll say return redirect and return redirect back it means stay on the same page save it now and uh, let's refresh now let's say if you want to say our hair slash my appointment and if we press enter it's uh, keeping us on the same page so this is more logical now let's go back to code again so here uh, after login we want to show the user their specific appointment that is made by them so for it uh, we first need to get the user id that is logged in so let me just first declare a variable let's say user id is equal to auth then double clone we will say user then to first bracket this arrow sign id 
so we will have the uh, user id stored in this user id variable so if you go to our browser uh, and go to our database here you can see in the appointment we have a user id field when a logged in user is uh, booking a appointment uh, it also showing their id and if you go to our user table uh, you can see that that id over here as well so using this we are going to show the specific appointment is made by the specific user so for it uh, first of all we need to uh, write a higher condition over here so let's just first uh, declare a variable over here let's just say dollar dollar appoint appoint is equal to uh, now we are going to say our table name which was appointment then we'll give two double clone and here we are going to uh, write a higher higher condition and inside it uh, we'll give two single quotation and here we need to write this uh, if you go to our database you can see user underscore id so we'll write here user underscore id comma we'll write this variable user id dollar user id so uh, and then the last will say get so it means uh, if the uh, if the user id in the table and this user id matches then then only it will uh, get that specific uh, appointment for that specific user so here we are just going to say comma compact and we will send this appointment we'll say appoint appoint not appointment we'll say this variable appoint so let's save it now we'll go to our my appointment.blade.php and here you can see see some td and this tr and we are going to add a for each loop before this tr we are going to say at the rate of for each dollar appoint appoint as let's say appoints appoints and this for each loop will end after this tr will say at the rate of int for each and inside this td we are going to say give two second bracket and we are going to say appoints appoints which is this one oh sorry it will be dollar appoints equal dollar appoints then we'll give arrow sign and first we'll say the uh, let me just check the database first we have the doctor date message and status so first one will be doctor let me just copy this control c control v now this one will be date after date we have the message and the status so let's say here message and here status status so if you save it now and if we refresh over here okay sorry we first need to log in so let's go to our user then give the password click login now here you can see my appointments now if you click this it's showing us the doctor name the date message and the status now uh, the admin will decide what will be the status if the admin accept uh, this appointment then it will show over here that accepted or something else so let's just add some design for showing the data as well so for it let's go back to our browser again and uh, let's say we'll uh, use the same style that we did for the table header so let me just select every TT then control V and let's say their font size will be different so let's remove those font size okay now let's save it and let's also add the background color over here as well uh, let's say over here style inside this uh, tr uh, let's say the background color will be black uh, because the text color is white and if the background color is not black then uh, it will show us nothing so if we refresh now so here you can see the doctor name date message and the status here so now let's also add another field called uh, like cancel appointment <coughs> so that uh, the user can cancel the appointment by their own if they want so for it let's go back to our browser and here we are going to add another th so let me just copy this control c and control v and here we are going to say uh, let's say cancel appointment so if we save it now and if we refresh here we can see we have one extra field called cancel appointment so for it so let's go back to our code again and here let me just give a td over here after this status we'll say td and inside this td we'll give the anchor tag 
and uh, it will be let's say we say over here cancel and let's also add a bootstrap class inside this anchor tag uh, we are going to say btn btn uh, delete sorry btn btn danger and if we save it and if we refresh you can see a button over here like this okay now we should have the uh, table data in the middle that will actually look better uh, so here we are just going to say align center inside this tr save it and uh, refresh okay now this looks better now if someone click this uh, cancel button then it will automatically delete the appointment so inside this href we are going to add another url so we'll say url and inside two single quotation we'll and inside this url we are going to say cancel appoint let's just say underscore appoint so let's save it control s now we'll go to our web.php again and let me just copy this route control c control v it will be get request and let me just copy this cancel appoint copy control c control v over here and let's say our function name will be cancel underscore appoint as well so let's save it now let's go to our home controller again and we are going to say public function public function uh, cancel appoint now the thing is uh, there is a multiple appoint appoint option over here now, now the user may uh, want to delete a specific appointment so uh, we'll go to our my appointment again and here we are going to send the id uh, with this url so we'll give a uh, dollar appoint we are going to say a double p o i appoints then this arrow sign will say id so it will also send the id with this url to the web.php and we'll give a slash over here and we'll give two second bracket with we'll say here id and this id will be catched by the cancel appointment function in the home controller so we'll say here dollar id and here we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar let's say dollar data is equal to uh, we'll say our table name which is appointment and uh, we'll give two c then we'll say find and inside it we are going to say dollar id and then we are we'll just say dollar data this arrow sign delete after this uh, we want to stay on the same page after deleting it so we'll say return then redirect back back so let's save it control s now just let's just refresh over here so if we click this cancel button okay the data is deleted now user may accidentally click this cancel button so we should uh so if the user click this cancel button we should show something that uh saying that are you sure or something like this so for it let's go back to our code again now we'll directly go to our myappointment.blade.php and here inside this anchor tag we're going to say on click then equal uh, we'll say return confirm and inside this first bracket we're going uh, we'll give two single quotation and we'll say are you sure to delete this so let's save it control s and let's just refresh again and if you click cancel it is showing us a message that are you sure to delete this and if you cancel click cancel it will not delete it and if you click ok it will delete the appointment so there you go so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll have our admin to uh, confirm cancel or confirm the appointment that the user is requesting for so this is it for this tutorial i hope uh, you understand everything i uh, tried to explain in this tutorial and if you have any question or any problem let me know in the comment section i will surely reply back and thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned stay healthy